Hey, hey, thanks for being here on my channel at Michelle Huerta Art, as well as Soul Pores. Thank you, thank you. And if you're new here, thank you, thank you. <laughs> as well as if you've been here for a little bit, since my channel is still pretty young, thank you to you too. <laughs> um, so if you do like what you see here, uh, do like and subscribe, do all those good things. I'm going to be doing one to two videos a week. And um, this is a quick little video. Um, I'm doing a blown out bloom and showing you here the thinness of my paint. Okay, I know why I'm showing you this. So my what I was trying to do here was I really watered down my paints. That's why I'm showing how really super thin they are because these are all house paints. And what I was wanting to do was more of like a uh, Dutch pour with the house paint. So I was kind of experimenting, just watering them super down to see what would happen. Um, so that's a groovy, uh, that's a neon pink from this little piggy. Um, this is an interference, uh, blue interference. It's a combination of a couple different pigments. Those other colors were permanent violet dark. There is the golden iridescent gold and then that teal is uh, this little piggy that also has some Liquitex teal in it. So super watered down paint here, spreading it out. I just, you know, I can use tools. <laughs> I can use tools, <laughs> but I just love the feel of the paint on my hands. I often just, you know, gloves or not, I, I end up using my hands. So I'm just gonna uh, stop talking here, let things roll and you can see what happens. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. Um, and you'll see that I actually end up doing two or three different types of pours on this piece. And it ends up in a really gorgeous teal and gold and black. Not what I was planning to do. I did end up going to using thicker uh, paints and pouring medium um, in my house paints. So. And you'll see why. I'll explain that a little bit later. Okay, enjoy. see here I'm doing many blooms on this just playing around and uh, trying with some more colors here put the white paint around it instead this time I just blew it out instead of blowing the puddle of white paint around into the colors and now at this point I'm just kind of like dumping what I got <laughs> it's just like let's go let's just see what happens I know you hear me say that a lot, but it is a big part of fluid art, it's a big part of creativity, because all these paints are really thin, so um, here I'm putting some of the Amsterdam White with the Australian Floetrol, trying another approach at blowing out some bloom here. A Amsterdam White with the Australian Floetrol that I used in the center that creates that, helps create that lacing when you blow on it was heavier than my paint, so it just kind of sat in the middle. Um, but you know, it had some interesting, like it was really beautiful as I was blowing on it. Yeah, I wish you could see what I see because it really played in the many layers of the paint because the paint moved really easily because it was thinner. Um, but it's still this, the Amsterdam White with the Australian Float Trawl was still kind of sitting heavy in the middle. So, spun this baby out. And uh, now I'm like, yeah, let's try again. <laughs> At this point, I'm just using the heavier paints, the teal and the gold, actually. I'm, there, I'm taking them off camera, um, from off camera. That's a little bit of boom gel in the orange, the pea blossom orange. And I'm using some black 
um, here for the uh, what can make the lacing and everything. So it was a little thicker, so I took out my little dryer, blowing that out. And uh, I will give you a close up actually in a sec. I wanted to grab a video. Oh, there's another bug. <laughs> uh, before I spin this out, uh, because it's so much fun, um, the way I just flopped it all on there. See what happens. I should probably be saying a lot, but that is what that is what happens in creativity and with the creative mindset. So there's some really fun bits here. Look at that. How that gorgeous kind of like amethyst there anyway yeah so gonna give this one a spin just wanted you to see this piece of art before it turns into another piece of art <laughs> okay Okay, here's this piece. It's just about dry. Just needs a little longer, but the colors are probably where they're going to be. Um, again, camera does not always pick up teals uh, properly. Makes them look a little bit more blue than teal. So anyway, yeah, there she is. Okay, and I still haven't decided on a name on this one. It'll come at some point. <laughs> 